M0FXB, welcome back to my videos learning about the Yesu FTX1 series. If you look at the files section now, we've got some new files. So at the bottom here, we've got the operating manual that was there before, but the new thing is we have the advanced operating manual. We have the group mode edition. And um, what's that one at the top? Oh, that's the brochure at the top. So have a quick look at the advanced. I'm going to click that download it to my downloads thank you very much to you now i i personally think this is a fantastic device i've been listening to you know the so the comments but anyway uh bluetooth operation trying to see there if they mentioned data in that not receiving anything and it is saying it's the bu5 and if you get the it says BU6 if you go to a selling site. That's because it includes a cover, but it's the BU5, which I've got here. And I will be testing it. So I'm just going to go brush through the headings. Vox, split memory, digital processing, uh, functions, screen capture, SD card, memory mode, setup menu operations, mode AM, Looks like you're going to adjust the audio. Is that what that looks like to you? Going down through. Cool. Mode data. Uh, so someone did spot the other day that there was a, a Bluetooth selection in one of the settings. So I'm not seeing it straight away. But anyway, digital. Digital pop-ups. We know it does CW and APRS, band scanned key dial display anyway so i think well let's look at the photographs way more fun so this says a memory channel scope Ooh, not seen that i haven't seen that before a memory channel scope and what's this one here sub dial yeah 3ds display bluetooth operation there's the thing where you remove the side color Pairing the Bluetooth and when you find it and select it with the SSM BT20 hands three Bluetooth audio. Yeah, if you do one or the other, you can hear it coming from the speaker at the same time as the headset. I remember that. Set up parameter microphone equalizer. So I'm going to go fast here, otherwise, we'll be here all day. You can check it out for yourselves. Adjustable receiver audio filter. What's that one there? Exactly. Nice having it in colour. Uh, DGID number. Yeah, we use that in C4FM. Sorry if my face is in the way. Uh, register the DPID. Okay, we'll go fast. What's this one here? Setting the DCS code. Enter the transmit frequency for split memory. I'm just going to go on here and go really fast because it's going to be a long video otherwise. But check it out. The links links are in the description. Thank you very much, Yesu. That's the advanced manual. And then we'll flick back and go to the APRS. Pretty good proof that it does APRS, isn't it? So there you are. I just flick through all the settings that you would expect to have as your APRS list. And memories, GPS display. There you go. Look at that. We just like looking at the photographs. So, of course, you need your call sign in there, your station ID, the correct APRS settings. You can see the common one there is wide one, wide two. Digipeter there, it says. I'm sure it's going to have all that very interesting tracking stuff. Right, next one is go back and we're going to look at the GM edition, group mode. I really like group mode. You push that button, push that G button and you uh, you see it's, it's good. When you're in there, you can send photographs and messages, share location. You get all these little squares come up with the other stations as they talk and how far they are. You get your distance. Wow, amazing. Don't forget, on top of this, we've got PMG mode. Look at that, so yeah, I just think it's fantastic. 
That's all I can say. Fantastic. Well done, Yesu. Uh, bye for now. 7-3. Put the link in the description. 7-3.